The story so far. Aaliyah and her Robot 6 have found the smoking wreck of Janaki Remba's ship, along with a final message intended for Professor Miyari. The roboticist was looking for the vault, an ancient observatory he believed to hold the only hope of preventing a darkness from overtaking the nebula. But why had Remba been hiring laborers to dig on a moon near Elbereth? Meanwhile, Aaliyah has found something else, a crude map pointing to an unknown moon deep in the haunted waters of Ghost's Wake. Will it explain what brought Remba to the Cyclones? Hey folks, welcome back to uh, Heaven's Vault. We're here with Yazi and Six on a little moon where Remba was digging for something. And we're just exploring the dig site. Trace? Mm, little pieces. Pottery, metal shards, nothing significant. Though surprising to find out here all the same. Rembo was not interested in these pieces. The others collected them and shared them out to sell. Rembo let you sell pieces he'd found? He insisted that we dig, but he did not care what we dug up. Okay, so he just wanted you to dig the hole. I see. What's this? Here's something. A rusted iron candle holder dating from the early Empire? Oil burning. The glass is the sort they blow on Elbereth. No inscription on the stem, but I don't think we've seen anything equivalent to this rusted candle holder before. So it must have originated on a site that's undocumented. Okay. Here we go. This one isn't sealed. Oh, I still have the poker. Cool. The poker should do it. There. Let's see now. Artifacts, just like on the other moon. Look at this. It's a snap brass key dating from at least the earliest days of the Empire. And there's an inscription along the barrel of the key. It hurt my eyes to it hurts my eyes to try and read it, I think is what she says. This is the end of a longer line of text. Snap brass key. Which, by the way, reminds me, we gotta go back to Elbereth at some point because we need to get our dagger back from the door. Remember, we gave away our knife. Okay, so that's an and in here, right? So, from and this doesn't feel right. Hmm. Okay, so from isn't right, which means we can probably put that here. What about and? Nope, also not right. Mr. Strat's translation is clearly incorrect. There must be another phrasing. Okay, so maybe... Oh, no, and is right. Huh. And. Oh, that was just the... Okay. I can add my translation for four to my dictionary now. Perfect. Okay, so that little X, the not, was for some other word. Okay. Okay, well, let's let's work on this one first. That's a pretty long word. Uh, okay, so live. Hearts, winds, love, swift. And I'm wondering... Right, because the syntax is that this is for uh, nouns. And the, the, the double is for verbs, ex for the most part. So... Arts, right? Generosity? Hmm? Maybe? And this is the same... Okay, let's just look here real quick. Path. This, and I think this means, like, shining down, so... Hmm. Uh, for hearts and mysteries? No. After songs, boxes, not boxes. Hold. That's the verb. Yeah, there's a lot of modifiers here that I'm not 
really seeing. Okay. Well, we're going to really guess here. So this I'm going to put hearts. Or hearts and... Songs? Complete guess. Complete guess. We don't... I, I just don't have enough to say what this is. And this feels right. Let's just give it one more shot. Live. This is to give. And this is... Uh, some stranger, right? Who we don't... A person who is not, like, living or, you know, familiar or within the hearth or the home or whatever. So... I think this is probably right. Hearts is a bit of a stretch, but it seems about right. Okay, cool. Let's just put that here for now. Does for hearts and songs make sense? Not really, but still. I think this comes from the same place as the rusted candle holder. This new find should be helpful in pinning down where these were made. But that's not all. Look at this. It's a silver gong engraved with an image of a tree dating back from the Ioxian Empire. I've seen the markings on this thing before, on the side of my ship. It appears to be carved with oh, it appears to be carved with symbols, mistress. Oh, whoa. And gives Something. Okay. So this is light. Person. Joy may be a thing. I'm going to keep it there for a second, though. And I don't know what this, cons what this syntax means. Do we have anything that says... I'm still convinced that that's right. Hmm. So a verb. I feel like when there are two symbols like this, it's like an adverb or, you know, an adjective or something like that. So a verb, and I don't know what that symbol is. Maybe it's a different concept. Okay, well, look. Let's say joy here for a second. Right, because joy is, you know, light shining from above. That would not be completely off base. It's a silver gong, right? Which means music sings and gives joy to all, right? So... Music. There is a, a common element here in these two words, right? So this and here. And that could be like melody, right? Between the two, because singing and music would obviously hold a similar meaning. So let's keep it there. Yeah, I don't think it's Songbird. And this has to be something musical, right? Because there's way too many mu sound based words to translate this into. Music sings and gives joy to all. Perfect. And it's on a gong and everything. I guess that this comes from the same place as a shattered brooch in the piece of paper we found earlier. We've got a lot of information on the moon that depicts in the Hermitage wall mural now. This should make the site easier to find. But these are good finds. What are they doing out here? It's a fair point. Yazzy, anything you want to share with us? Another dig? For storing equipment. What is all this? There must be a city under there. Okay, let's see if I can find anything else. Like maybe something lying on the ground? Let's see if there's anything in this broken pile of stuff. No, no, nothing. What about in this little hidden corner? No. We're just going to explore this and then we're going to head towards the big tent again. Mistress, when I see an artifact, I can position its origin point using minor radiation markers, but I'm at a loss to understand how you do it. You remember that what my job is, don't you? 
You are an archaeologist, but having a term for what you do does not tell me how you do it. It's a fair point. It's a lot of little things. The composition of the material, different minerals prevail in different parts of the nebula, but also with the workmanship, carving techniques, brush strokes. These things are like fingerprints if you know what you're looking at. But materials move around, surely. Of course they do. But only when people carry them. Tracing the movements of things is another way of tracing the movements of people. In the end, the things aren't really that important. Okay, so that's the entrance. We're not going to go to the entrance yet, because I'm seeing shovels, etc. I feel like the moment we step inside, it's going to progress the story. Okay, nothing here. Hmm. Oh, wow. Okay. More tents? That's where you slept? It's empty now, of course. They all cleared out. Can I go up there? I can. We're not going to go up there yet, then. All right, so let's take a look at those. The far corner is like... Okay, it's, it's how to move there. No, I want to see what's on this platform and if there's anything for us to find, and otherwise we're going to go into the tent, and then we'll go up to inspect the city. Okay, is there anything in here worth looking at, or worth... Anything with an inscription? At all? Boxes? Overturned carts? Here we go. Of a similar age to the previous. This one's also inscribed. Perfect. Symbols etched deep into the metal. There's a few words in this one. Okay. We. No. Oh, that's all I can think of. Connected we. That will do for now. Wait, what do you mean, do for now? Sorry, I'm just gonna... Oh, because she... I get it. it. We can only have the two. And we couldn't break up. Um, we don't know this, so we can't break up the rest of the words. I get you. Okay. Let's go inside the tent. Yazzie, that arm. Nope. Don't get stuck on the rocks. So if Rambo was here, right, and he didn't care, another carving, cool. If Rambo was there and he didn't care, this is two words, not one. But where does one word end and the next start? Yeah, that seems right. I can add my translation for stands to my dictionary now. Perfect. Me. Nebula Empire. No, not Empire. Could it be this? Right? Because... Because... Mm, it can't be Empires, right? This is, a, this is the noun version of the individual. So the individual noun would be this. Maybe. That seems a, not the, the worst stretch, you know? So, this stands. Uh, I think that's correct. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense. It is a post. Equally, it might say cheese and, <laughs> cheese and amok, mistress, since the carvers did not know what they were carving. <laughs> it doesn't say that. It's definitely two words, not three. Oh, I get it. Okay, fine. Yeah, so if Remba doesn't care that Yazi and the rest were selling any of the finds, means that he wasn't looking for anything particularly buried, um, anything that you can dig up. He's looking for structures of some kind that are buried deep underground. Tied up from the outside. My scanners do not suggest there is anyone inside. As I told you, they all left. The knot's old. Hard to... 
There. I will wait out here. Uh-uh, Yazi. Why? There is a large winch inside, Mikis, which I do not intend to meet again. You will forgive me, I hope. Uh, well, I don't fully trust you, Yazzy, so... Six, you stay with Yazzy. I would be delighted to, Mistress. Please do not do anything dangerous in there. Darkness. An enormous pit had been cut into the rock below. It must have taken days to do. Weeks, even. What could be down here to be worth all this? Wow. Yeah, I'm seeing a scaffold go all the way down there. Okay, no problem. Let's just look around. Nothing in these boxes. Oh yeah, it just keeps going. Okay. I am seeing some... Some kind of machine, exactly, yeah. Oh, Roy would love this. Maybe Ramba bought it from her. Or for the lights, perhaps. Let's see now. Easy does it, Aaliyah. Light! Wooden walkways spiraled down, held together by ropes and luck. You could tell this place was built by Elbereffians. This whole thing feels oddly like walking into a trap. Walkways poised to collapse, a pit big enough to hold an eagle. Ramba, I wish I knew what you were playing at. No choice then. The only way to understand a trap is to trigger it. Okay, well, let's look all the way around before we trigger any traps, please. I mean, we already walked into one, right? We know that Remba's capable of interfering with the, uh... No, no, not yet. With the teleportation for six, so... He can really just, like, mess with robots, I guess. Well, he is a roboticist, so... Okay, so this is the winch. An inscription. This one is a phrase run together. Perfect. Okay, so these stones. I don't think I know enough to resolve this. Does these stones work? It works perfectly, Aaliyah. Don't, you know, don't play with that. Lifting equipment, I guess, is, yeah. I guess this is what crushed Yazzie's arm. They rebuilt it, kept on working. Lifting equipment, but not very good lifting equipment. Okay. Let's continue on, and now I guess we've seen enough that we can go down. It's interesting, this has some words in it that we don't really know how to parse, which means we'll come back to them later, but still. It's interesting to me that there is... Here it goes. I just don't know how much, um... Like, how many things there are for us to translate. And, like, how big the dictionary is. It's cool. Oh, I see. This board seems weaker than the others. I go by the waters. I go by the waters. Ha. <sighs> Made it. Here it goes. Oh no. Oh. Bless the rivers. That was a little close. Not that way then. No way I could jump that. I could drop down. There's no way I could jump that. No way anyone could. You have a winch, can't you lower yourself? I could drop down, maybe? There's sand down there. But how would I get back up? Winch. Let's 
see, this plank was loose. I could probably drag it. Oh, sure. I'm sure I can do this. This is going to work out fine. Oh, perfect. With luck, that should hold. If Six could see me now, he would have a conniption. Wish me luck, Six. Easy. That wasn't so bad. I just hope I'm not stuck down here. Oh, nice. Okay. Okay. Easy, easy, easy. Climb down. Well, there's certainly something buried down here, but I can't make out what. I wonder what Yazzie and Six are up to. This looks like a ship, and I also see another generator. Anything over here that's worth anything? No. Another plank. Longer than the ones higher up. Well, here goes. There. Okay, let's just go ahead and open the box. Bits of metal, fittings, eyelets, hooks, spare parts, and something else. What have we got? This is a curved chunk of wood from a ship's hull. It looks like it dates from at least the latest, uh, the early empire. It doesn't have an etched message on it. Most likely this comes from the same source as the map and the scrap of a pennant that I discovered out in the wash. There must have been frequent movement between the two places. This should help us work out where to look for its location. Cool. Another generator. Let's see what's down here. What is that? Is that a hull? It's beautiful. By the waters. This thing down here, it's a boat. Imagine it intact. An enormous hull, multiple sets of sails. How does it end up here? No, I can't see it from there, okay. A wooden spar? Inset with metal rings for ropes. There's one more thing down here, I can tell. Come on, come on. There is another dot, hold on. Just bear with me, folks. Sorry. Hmm. No? It's just a phantom dot? Okay. Oh, there is a way to get down, though, so that's... that's something. Well, it held the first time. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, no. Oof. Ouch. Oh, I have a health meter, all of a sudden. I'm glad no one saw that. There's some cloth here. Broke my fall. really thick and heavy. It's a sail. Sailcloth. Okay, now there's a dot here, right? A metal ring. It's a hatch. And it's etched with symbols in ancient. Cool. The buried hatch. I've got one of these words in my notebook, but I'll have to take a stab at the rest. Okay, crystals from... Stick to here for a second. Quick eye. Quick tongue. Teeth. Alright, so I mean, clearly it's about a person. And it's light, so it's suggesting that it's the eye. Crystals from... Huh. 
let's assume for a second that that's plants. There is definitely another word here. This is like a house on the, or a building on the rocks. From the metal eye. Crystals from the metal eye. Hmm. Let's just go ahead and see this for a second. Hope. This guy, this, this feels like crystals. I, well, I think it's crystals. I'm not sure about this, like, this symbol, the one in the center, the, the, the one that looks just like a letter I. This is light, this is rock. This means that it's a noun. Okay. Below. So light from the sky into rocks, which seems like crystals. Crystals from... This has to be I, again, because light, person with light and a noun, or something to do with the body and light, and it's a noun. None of these other ones mean what I think they should mean. So crystals from... of this concept plants building I don't, know. I don't think it's serpents crystals from the metal eye seems somewhat appropriate but we'll keep this uh, for the moment crystal from metal's eye eh. very treasure is it Remba is that what all this is about? Okay, we're not opening anything yet. There's an inscription here. This one is several words. Really? I mean, there's only the one that fits in here. Okay. This syntax bothers me, but hold on, let's see. There, Did we not encounter this kind of like floret? A wooden spar. Of safety? Of? So it's not... It can't be rope. Right? And I don't think... It can't be bird. And I say this for two reasons. Because I don't think this syntax is like a hard proper noun. You know, it's not like a thing you can feel or touch. I think this is an ephemeral noun, which means it's like breath or wind. And I think it's wind, because from above, right? Wind of... As, uh... Hmm... Value, joy, again, like, really ephemeral concepts. Like, if music, but music is an actual thing, right? And joy, value are much more ephemeral. So wind of, I'm going to say either truth or safety. And there's nothing else, right? And this The construction is basically the same as this. So, wind of... I don't have any florets, that's the problem. And if it's on a spar... Let's go with Wind of Truth. I don't know why safety just seems... not correct. Wind of Truth. Sure. Okay, before we do that, let's see if there's anything else if we just walk up a little. No? No. All right, well, what happens if we open up the hatch? I peer down into a dusty, gloomy space. Uh, yeah. Heck yeah, reach in. Maybe I can just... There's something here. I found something. 
Mm -hmm. Some kind of glass? No, crystal. Oh, is that it? Okay, cool. All right, let's go see Yazzie and Six. What is that noise? I've been down here long enough. Aaliyah, do you do you hear that? It sounds like someone's here. <laughs> okay. Okay, we're gonna cross this plank, then we're gonna pull the plank. Oop. Move the plank. I am telling you, we are not alone. Someone's here. Cross back. Or there's like a... I'm not going back down there again. Or maybe there's like a storm that closed in. I don't know. Something's going on. It's too much. There's too much noise. Actually, before we head out, since we have a second... Let's just look at the different inscriptions we have. I'm looking for a floret. This is really the reason that I'm doing this. If nothing shows up, then, you know, then I'll drop it. But I thought we had a floret somewhere. Maybe it was one of the ones that we really couldn't decipher and we left. Yeah, here it is. Show me the translation. That way. Oh, no, it doesn't. Oh, shoot. Right. With me. Oh, right. It's the one that we didn't have enough words. So this is an and. This is what I think is plants. And a floret that we can't translate. Shoot. All right, never mind. We'll come back to it. I'd like maybe we'll just have an episode where we take stock of all the different things we have. Mistress, you have returned. Uh... Yeah. Six? Where's Yazzie? Mistress, you may observe that Master Yazzie is no longer here. He explained I should wait here for you in case you cried out for help. Uh-huh. I told you to watch him. I, are you capable of doing anything? A. I fear he exploited the conflict between my ethical core and your instructions, Mistress. Which way did Yazzie go? Toward the rough camp we saw earlier. Okay, well, I could have... I suppose I should have guessed that. I suppose we should have just gone up there, but... <sighs> Alright, that's my mistake. I thought... Uh, why didn't Yannicky or Janicky just use robots for the dig? It must have taken forever to excavate all this. I believe the answer is obvious, Mistress. Because they can't keep secrets. Climbing sand will be quite exhausting, mistress. Don't worry about it. I have finished my consideration of the stone and the statue, mistress. I believe I have a rough location of where the statues were constructed. Good work. Oh, he's happy. Thank you, mistress. If we really want to know what Rembo was doing, we should follow Yazzie. He knows more than he told us. This is steep, mistress, and the air is ver is poor. Yazzie! Show yourself! I'm gonna break your other arm. And it is not gonna be pleasant. Uh... Ioxian. <laughs> What's going on, Yazzie? I'm leaving. Just like your Ioxian friend did. Remba wasn't my friend. Nor mine. Okay, here we go. There's space for all of us on the Nightingale. You cannot trust Ioxians. We're leaving now, with your ship. Without you. Someone will come for you, I am sure. Yeah. 
Just, we can all leave. Together. Let me take you to Iox. I can find you work. A place to live. We will not live in your debt. We shouldn't waste any more time. You have been here too long already. You won't be able to fly this ship without me. By the waters and the stones. You think everyone in Elbereth has two left thumbs. I mean, do not try to stop us. Uh, I'm going to try. Remember, he drove us to this. Curse his name, not ours. Six, stop them. How exactly, mistress? I am not an attack dog. But if I may, I believe we should leave this moon swiftly. Have you done something to the nightingale? Nothing, mistress. But I do suggest we remove it. I will activate the hopper now. And so we left the camp and returned to the ship. Ah, yazzy, yazzy, yazzy. Aboard the Nightingale, we returned to the ship and sprang up into the water. We should sail to Iox and tell Miari what we've seen. No! <laughs> okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to pause it there uh, and come back to it next time and just pick up right where we left off here. If you guys enjoyed this, like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend. Let's me know that I'm doing something right. Let's me know that you guys want to see more of this stuff. If you have thoughts about the game, thoughts about what we can do, thoughts about Yazzy, by all means, leave a comment. And in any case, I will see you all next time.